to God. <clears throat> Want to deal with uh, seed faith here. Uh, seed faith is so powerful. Um, the first place that I ever heard about seed faith, it wasn't um, Oral Roberts. First place I heard about seed faith was from uh, Dr. Mike Murdoch. Um, and I took that part in which he taught on seed faith and uh, I made it a part of my repertoire. And meanwhile, while I received it, um, the Lord started giving me advance extensions of what seed faith was all about. The power of literally taking your money and using that money as an object of worship, but also directing what this object of worship would produce from the glory of God when it comes back to you. And seed faith is so powerful because the Lord, he'll take you up on your offer while you're sowing. And he'll, he'll, he'll give you an adventure with him. Because the Lord loves adventures. You know, faith, God gave man faith because God has an adventurous side to him. The reason why he gave faith, because he wanted man to discover how super they were and how super he was. So Adam was able to see how super God was and how super he himself was coming from God through this aspect of faith. That the fact that the faith was even dealt to him It was God's challenge of saying, come and learn of me. Come and learn of me. See, come learn of me wasn't just what Jesus said in the New Testament. This is what he'd been saying all along. He created Adam. He wanted Adam to become a student. He wanted Adam to discover who his God was and who Adam was as a God from his God. Because Adam was a God from his God. And the Lord places in Adam's hands herb bearing seed and said, this seed shall be for your meat. Now, saints, it was M-E-A-T. But I want to say something to you. Not only the meat, M-E-A-T, but the meat, M-E-E-T. Because every time he sold this, there was going to be a meeting between him and the power of God, the angels of God. Every time he sold, there was going to be a collision, a meeting, a conference call between him and his father in heaven. So in birth conference calls. Sowing will get you a place at the round table. The more you love the Lord, the more you sow. Bountiful sowing is an expression of how crazy in love you are with Jesus. So my seed levels started rising up and I would name my seed. Sometimes I would sow a seed and I would name my seed, give me more seed. Boy, and I worked that thing and I worked that thing and I twerked that thing. Now, that would never happen in real life, so I only can say it in the seed. You see what I'm saying? Shit, go over your head. Shut up. So I, 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 that's why I told you the revelation of having a seed in a seed. Because some of the seeds that you sow 
is impregnated with another seed that you're supposed to sow after that. But if you're not wise, you'll kill, you'll, you'll kill and eat the seed within the seed. Seed faith is so powerful because whatever you name your seed, angels will minister for you what you named it. Hallelujah. I've seen it happen so many times in my life. The vehicle that I, I, I drive the most, I wanted that vehicle, uh, what, four years ago? Four years ago. And I remember I had vehicles, you know, but that was my dream vehicle. But I was so. And I remember one time I was at a dealership and the dealership was saying, you got to pay this amount. And I had the money on me. And guess what I did? While I was at the dealership, I called, I called um, the ministry and I said, I, I want to sow this gift. They said, you want to sow this gift? That's a lot of money. That's a big seed. I said, yep. The, the man that I was at the dealership with, he was looking at me like, what? You just gonna mock me? You you gonna come up in here and then tell us you gonna sow that amount to 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 the ministry right in front of the dealer dealer man? See, what I'm telling you, when you a sower, you gonna do some things that God gonna have you do, and um, it's your initiation for wealth and riches. Wealth and riches is a realm of dominion and dominated. Satan can't check you when you're wealthy. Your, your double flood, pluck them up. Glory to God. So your initiation mode. And so I sold that amount right, right while I was in the car dealership. Got my dream car. Four years later, got my dream car. The seed going to come back to you. But that's what I named it. I named that seed. My dream car. And I sold it in a time. Looked like, okay, you could got you could got your car. Bam. But I pit Jesus first. I pit the work of God first. You'll never see Prophet Joshua Holmes throwing no money at no daggone stripper. Wait. I might have to. You're never going to see Prophet Joshua Holmes in the past throwing no money at. You're never going to see Prophet Joshua Holmes moving with the Dow Jones. You're never going to see Prophet Joshua Holmes moving in the Dow Jones. All right? I'm joking around. I never been to no strip club. I ain't never going to no strip club either. I ain't paying the Lord's money and no booty crack. I'm gonna tell you that right now. How mama doing? <laughs> I'm joking around. I'm playing around. I ain't paying no stacking no booty crack. Um. Now, l listen. <laughs> see? <laughs> see? <laughs> see? Some of y'all are not right. You can't go inside no mirror and try to see if you... <laughs> you twerk material. Some of y'all funny. Saints, if you would put a camera in the, in the life of teenage girls, when they growing up, they... they some of y'all mamas just don't know. They be doing all type of stuff. <laughs> they be in the mirror up there practicing. Like, hey, 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 what's that going on? Mama, I'm... 
Mama, I'm, I'm, Mama, I'm, 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 I'm reading the Bible. Mama, hey, 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 what's all that noise? What's, why that music so loud? <laughs> why that music so loud? You don't be knowing your child, your child, your child is super freaky. Super freaky child. Seed faith will bring back to you exactly what you named your seed. It's going to come back in that package. <laughs> it's going to come Money cometh every time you sow. Money cometh to me. Put your name on it. <laughs> Put your name on it. Glory to God. When you name your seed, money cometh to me. Money gonna come to you. Sharika just got money. Money come to her supernaturally. Sharika always sowing. Don't doubt your seed. Stop casualizing your seed. Don't casualize your seed. Don't act like your seed don't got no power. That's the power of God unto salvation for every situation. When you sowing, you releasing a financial verdict. From your heavenly report. Oh my God, hear what I just heard the Lord say. You got a heavenly credit score. You got a heavenly credit score. You got a credit score that is in the heavens that's perfect. See, you got to understand when you're listening to God, that's why he perfect that which concerns you. Okay, so if he perfect that which concerns you, that means that there are things in this life, in the earth realm, that concerns you. So if it's in the earth realm, that means that he got it in the heavenly realm. And when he perfects it, it's because he brings down from the heavenly realm and plants it on the earthly realm. Oh. He going to take what's in the heavenly realm and plant it on the earthly realm. Seed faith will give you access to everything in the kingdom of God, from healing in your body, from love, from supernatural justice, God revisiting situations where people stole from you. They wasn't integral with the business that they did with you. They stole your income tax money. <laughs> they put two of your children's on there. But they only gave you enough money for, for, for a monkey. Not even for a real person. They gave you monkey money. You, you only could afford a banana after they gave you the bun. When you saw him, God give you supernatural justice so he go revisit where there was there, <laughs> there was a, a mistreatment. See, saints, the children of Israel got a recompense or compensation. They didn't have mesothelioma, mesothelioma.
but they got the compensation for all their pain and <laughs> all the latest moves, all the latest moves. All the latest moves. So they ended up getting <laughs> compensation for all the suffering that they went through with Pharaoh. Seed faith will release you into wealth that is unstoppable. Money that is unstoppable. You can have whatever financial amount you desire in the kingdom of heaven through seed faith. When you sow and you title your seed, your seed will become a servant to what you named it. Your seed is your servant and it will bring to you all that will bring you completely into joy. Favor serves you. Favor also comes on the scene and makes things happen, give you access to things that you're asking God for. The more you sow, the more favor you entertain it. Every time I sow my money into my man of God, I'm entertaining favor. I'm entertaining prosperity. I'm entertaining wealth. Every time I sow my seed into my man of God, I'm receiving an increase of all. My rank in the spirit goes up every time I honor God financially. When I'm planting my money into King Jesus, my authority, my dominion, my possessions are going to multiply, intensify, triple. See, faith is not going to let me stay the same person. I'm going to become more supernatural as a man. You're going to become more supernatural as a woman. Seed faith makes you a God over money and God over the earth. Psalm 115 said, even the earth has he given to the children of men. The heavens, even the heavens is the Lord, but the earth has he given to the children of men. When you sow in through seed faith, you become a God over the earth realm. The earth realm start listening to you. You understand? The earth realm start flowing with you. And the earth realm start producing what you named the seed. Now, saints, remember what God told Adam that he shall have this earth bearing seed. It shall be for his meat. Now, saints, look at that word meat. M-E-A-T. That means that he going to have depth. Meat is the depth of God, the depth of his word, the depth of, uh, of his realms, his dimensions. So the Lord is telling him, you going to receive meat. Because of the seed. You got to become a sower before you can receive the meat of who God is, what God is doing, and what God promised you. So when I'm in the seed, I got access to all the meats of God. Not no beef jerky meat. Not no beef turkey meat. Shop, 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 shop. Heavenly meat that won't perish. Heavenly meat that won't decay. When you step into the seed principle, you stepping into a earthly divine law that God gets so much ecstasy and satisfaction from. When you make a decision to take your money and support your man of God, support the gospel, support the word of the Lord. You are planting yourself in your own garden of Eden. You're getting possession, legal authority over all things. Seed faith will make you a possessor of heaven and earth. Seed faith will make you a possessor of heaven and earth. Seed faith will make you a possessor of heaven and earth. Every seed you sow, name your seed. Hallelujah. Name your seed, it shall surely come back to you. 
Sewing is the most exciting place you ever going to enter. Saints, you lift your whole... Saints, when you become a sewer, you lose your mind. You wonder how the easy was I was and I saw it like this all the time. Saints, there are times I look at the seed. Every day I sow. Every day I sow. Every day I, every day I sow. Sometimes I wonder how was I doing this? Uh, 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 I should have been doing this at two years old. Blessed be God. I shouldn't have been drinking no milk. One years old, I should have had. One year, seven years, I went, shouldn't have been learning how to wash. I should have been sewing. Nah, nah, I, nah, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be up there trying to learn. Like, nah, I, I don't, I don't want to learn how to do that. I should have been learning how to sew. That's why I should have I should, I should, I shouldn't be up there, you know, learning how to walk. I should have been sewing. When, when, when you find a law that that doesn't change your whole life, you say, where, where, where was I all this time? This, this is a divine law, and seed phase is raising up a generation of preachers that's dominated. I know it, cause I got sons that's dominated. Yeah, 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 yeah. They stay connected to me. They, they stay in the, in the in the proper order. God raised them up. Plant my spirit on them. Have them moving in wisdom. Now it's never gonna be another me. I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be legendary in itself. It's gonna be another me. But what God gonna do is raise up. See, I'm raising up a lead. That are financial dominators. They can't be stopped. Because if, if I got a seed in my hand, I got a mantle on me in the spirit realm. If I got a seed with me, I got a, I'm wearing a mantle in the spirit realm. I'm moving in the spirit with a mantle on. Who going to check me? Who going to stop me? Who going to hinder me? Who gon' come in front of me? Who gon' block me? I got authority from Jesus. The seed in my hand will get me anything in the kingdom. I ain't even gotta pray about certain things. When I'm sowing, I name my seed. I target what I believe in God for, and it's gonna come back to me. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together and running over. Shall men give it to my book. Seed faith. Long live Dr. Mike Murdoch.